Welcome to Bears and XL. Today is May 16th, and this is our CNO chart. And here we are with CNO. Very uh, interesting day. Uh, we do have a uh, inverse hammer, uh, which is very similar to the uh, Dow and the S and P. Uh, certainly, we could get a uh, sideways to positive move tomorrow, but uh, the candlestick signal is weak and should not be traded solely on itself. I'm going to go down to the 15 minute chart and see what we see. Now this was a pretty interesting. We had a, a giant move up. It went down, kissed uh, 750 and then bounced really hard and then just uh, kind of uh, crapped out for the rest of the day. Um, you could say that you know this was um, you know, part of, uh, you know, just the general market moves that happened today, but um, I'm more inclined to think that, uh, you know, we're between the two resistance points, which is uh, 798 and uh, 725, so we have uh, just this big old gap, which, um, you know, there's nothing to hold it. And uh, when there's nothing to hold it, that's when things can be manipulated very easily. And uh, to see it just, uh, you know, charge up uh, would suggest to me that, you know, somebody uh, was buying cheap to unload uh, to everyone else that was excited. So that's how I see today. Um, they did come out with the news about the stock buyback, which certainly is positive. Um, I think a dividend would be more positive, but um, oh, this line is all messed up. Um, but that's what we—that's what we have on the 30-minute. You can see that uh, we do have a bearish long-term moving average to be expected with the drop that we had, and the 60-minute uh, it is more of a flat line, trying to come out of a flat line into the negative. Um, if it is able to complete its move and have some expansion that will put uh, pressure on the, you know, it being able to move to the upside uh, decisively. Um, but we are in this no man's land area right now and uh, probably will be there for a while. Um, so I would be looking just personally that when it gets down to 720, I would uh, buy. Um, and when it gets up near 8, I would be selling and watching to see if it breaks through 8. If it does break through 8, it definitely has room to move and um, plenty of room. Uh, the short term moving average on the daily, we still have a partial flat line. It uh, would imply that if it does go into the bar for a test, it uh, will be muted, uh, of course, uh, notwithstanding uh, nasty market moves. But um, yeah, overall, so you know, uh, almost completely neutral um, until we're close to either one of those uh, uh, resistance levels. Uh, I'll be watching and. Uh, as always, all investing decisions are your own, and this chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only.